and welcome to Tech Talk Travel. This month's video, we talk about OTAs and the uncomfortable truth. Hotel distribution is a constant evolving discussion. Over the years, I have heard online travel agents called a number of things. Anything from a necessary evil through to frenemies. End of the day, OTAs are necessary and they are not evil and they are not your enemy. So if your relationship with OTAs annoys or frustrates you, perhaps you might be managing the relationship incorrectly. Learning how to leverage OTAs in order to strategically distribute your property's inventory is only going to work to your advantage. Reality is consumers choose to book via OTAs because it is easier and often at times more convenient. Look at OTAs as partners who are there to work for you as opposed to against you. Now for some context, D-Edge Hospitality Solutions recently released a great white paper detailing the European hotel distribution trends between 2014 and 2018 and we'll link to it below in the description. No surprises, it did confirm the duopoly that is currently held by Booking and Expedia. Yes, they do have a big part of the market, but there are actually other channels that hoteliers are leveraging successfully. And this trend should always be encouraged and continued. Some of the key facts that stood out from this report to me were in 2018, booking holdings held 68% of the OTA market share. Wholesalers and bed banks grew by over 100% in the last five years. Direct via brand.com is the second most important channel with almost 21% of market share. Now, while still the second best channel, brand.com still managed to lose 6.3% share in the last five years, which of course was taken over by the OTAs. Almost 40% of on the books revenue is canceled before arrival in 2018. So that says that it's a buyer's market that hotels need to put contingencies in place for so that they are not affected by this type of consumer behavior. Okay, so let's consider some of the benefits now working with OTAs. For starters, you'll get greater reach. OTAs offer hotels the ability to reach a much larger number of consumers. They offer access to new markets you presently don't reach, such as foreign markets where they can translate your listings into multiple languages, which will then open these markets that would otherwise be too expensive to manage directly. Ctrip is a perfect example of this. They are a big player in China's travel market and have a heavy presence across Asia generally. Therefore, by listing your property on an OTA such as Ctrip, you will get more visibility in one of the world's fastest growing travel markets. Due to OTA's funding capabilities and marketing expertise, they also can quickly adapt to changes in consumer behavior and are agile enough to keep up with the ever-changing technologies in our vertical. OTAs have the potential to create a billboard effect for properties. And this means that a hotel's visibility on an OTA could actually increase direct bookings. So when travelers discover hotels on the OTA listing, many of them then do further research on these properties themselves. This can lead to a direct website, lead to further direct website traffic. And if you have an easy to use booking engine with a fresh clean content, this will encourage and increase the direct reservations being made. By effectively maintaining a good relationship with your OTA market manager, this will encourage them to share their insights and knowledge of their local markets. Market managers usually have good knowledge and are generally happy to share their insights. Take a look at where your competitors list their inventory. Do a simple Google search to see which OTA sites they are represented on. Knowing where your competitors are listed can help you consider which channels you should perhaps connect to. Recognize too though that what works for your competitors may not necessarily work for you. Take into account the costs to create, maintain 
your hotel's website and booking engine, as well as the time and the resources spent on search engine optimization, advertising, marketing, etc. You'll find in some cases the final cost for a direct booking is higher than the cost of a booking from an OTA. Continually review your commission rates to make sure they're right for you. 15% is generally considered a good target, but if you're paying 20% or higher, then consider negotiating that down. Your negotiations will be easier, of course, when working with a larger number of OTAs. By creating memorable experiences, you'll be going a long way to converting any guests that came via a third party, such as an OTA, into a direct repeat customer. Show your hotel differs from the OTAs, as well as your competition across the street. A lot of hotels desperately still need to improve the quality of their content, whether it's text, images or videos. What the OTAs do well is present all the information about your hotel to the potential guest and they do so in a way that is easy to consume and it ticks all of the boxes. They've made significant investments in this area to ensure the guests are presented with all of the key information and that any possible questions they may have are already answered. Make your property the obvious choice. Answer the booker's questions on every device and every one of their touch points. Give them every opportunity to easily choose your property. It really isn't hard to present good images. Yet unfortunately, there are too many hotels websites that are missing this opportunity. Well, it would be wrong to not bring Google into this conversation. Without a doubt, hotels need to assign the same importance to Google as they do to Booking.com, Expedia, Trivago, their own booking engine, or any other advertising or distribution channel. Google is now a fully-fledged travel platform in its own right, and their aim is clearly to get more guests searching, browsing, and booking in Google's ecosystem, rather than clicking out to an external link or an advertiser's site. This will certainly open up a lot of opportunity for hotels when it comes to new ways of acquiring high quality traffic and to compete with OTAs on a more level playing field. The fight for direct bookings is now really shifting round. Many people now start their booking journal journey on Google. It might no longer be enough to just demonstrate your advantage over the OTAs now on your own website. Distribution strategies must consider what Google are making available. More and more booking journeys are likely to start and end in the search results, removing the need to click out to the OTA or hotel's website. A competitive presence on Google Hotel Ads is vital to harnessing the potential of this changing behavior and opportunity. And we talk about this in our book on Google video because it only emphasizes the crossover points that Google now is beginning to put in place. They are potentially changing the entire landscape as we know of it today. So in closing, OTAs are business partners, not enemies or a necessary evil. Work on developing your relationships with them so any frustrations can be put aside. It's obvious that Booking Holdings and the Expedia Group control the majority of the hotel distribution landscape. The only real way this may change will be when new players with different business models such as Google or Airbnb get the traction that they're currently working on. Establish a multi-channel distribution strategy that will work for you. Diversify your options. Look into more niche OTAs, look into more wholesaler deals and perhaps consider more GDS. And do your homework on Google. Understand what they can offer and make sure it is a part of your distribution plan. With further adoption of their frictionless facilitated booking methods via Book on Google and the right technology partners, this will offer hotels even more control. Make sure your hotel's website and booking engine is on par at least with the OTAs. Ensure your content is given priority by using high quality photos, engaging videos and clear text. Offer as much information about your hotels to the guests and essentially provide the answers to their questions before they even think of them themselves. 
So regardless of how the guests got to your property, if you can always provide an experience that is above and beyond, you will have a much higher chance of winning that guest's loyalty. And then the next time that they stay, they'll likely book directly with you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, it's bye for now.